All right, next up we have team group name led by Jack Hope. Their project is a study timer and their pitch is going to be by Trevor and Evelyn Liu. You have three minutes. Good evening, everyone. As college students, many of us know the feeling of taking a test and failing. <laughs> it's a nauseating feeling of doom. I felt it myself two weeks ago as I took my differential equations test. But what if you never had to feel that feeling again? Well, our team developed a web-based application allowing students to track their academic progress and visualize their time spent studying. It's a web-based application developed using uh, JavaScript. It allows the users to track hours for each subject studied, and it will be done by semester, so after the end of each semester, the user can change the classes that they are taking and begin anew. When it uh, reaches its final stages, it will track progress based on uh, weekly, monthly, and yearly results. When the application is finished, you will be able to compare hours guided with your friends. However, we did not reach this stage of development. We had a bunch of uh, problems, so we're gonna go ahead and just show you what we have. You can see we have a timer for our application, and this is based on the Pomodoro technique. If those of you who haven't heard it, it's proven to be the most effective way to study, studying in 25 minute intervals. And these, this time will be added to the user's total time study. And like I said, they'll be able to track based on subjects. And we had spoken about creating some sort of algorithm that would take their grades and tell them if they need to study more. So if there are any questions, I'll take them right now. Uh, so just, yeah, we're gonna start the timer right now. Uh, we're gonna take questions from the judges then. Thank you. So, uh, how is this different than just a timer from like your iPhone? <laughs> so, we, we built a, a bit of like a back end to it, but we couldn't quite, we, we didn't have enough time to, to connect it with the front end. What we, we did build, uh, which we can't really show you, it's like console blog type stuff, but we, we have an authentication system, so you can put in a username and a password, and it would hash the password and store it on the database. And then we also created uh, subjects inside of the, the database for each one of the users, and then it would add uh, each one of these sessions to that database. But we, we weren't able to, to retrieve it and send it back onto the, the front end. I see. Okay, uh, one quick question then. Um, from, from your game background, is there any way you're gamifying this so that you feel like you're getting like tokens or something that's rewarding rather than just like time to add it to your chart? Nope, just time. Well, I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you could. You could definitely like after every 25 minutes, you could uh, say like you have this achievement and then you can compare it to, to other people that are online since we do have the, the database of other people. So we reach that stage. Yeah, we had the idea of making a high score as in how many hours uh, someone takes in a study, whoever has the best high score. Best number of hours gets the uh, first prize, I guess, but we haven't reached that yet. What database are you working with? Uh, MongoDB. And what problems are you having with it? Uh, we were just trying to get it to the top. Pull it back off and then send it off. We, we didn't have enough time. Alright, thank you. That's all the time that we have for questions. Um, great job, team group name.